I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Here's a great idea if you believe in the flood myth. Simply look at other cultures. Look at the Sumerian creation myth. Look at the Galgamesh flood myth. There's the Genesis flood myth, of course, which is Noah. Uh, there's the view of Islam, they have a slightly different view. There's the ancient Greek flood myths. There's even an Irish flood myth. The Welsh have their own particular flood myths, as do the Norse, the, uh, the Vikings, Scandinavians. But of course, don't forget Asia. You've got the Chinese in several cases with great floods. You've got India with numerous cases of great floods. You've got Korea with their own version of a great flood. You've got Malaysia, the Philippines. You've got various stories in Polynesia and Hawaii. The various tribes of North America, you've got various flood myths there. You've got the same with Central America. You've got the same with the Incas. But what's the interesting factor? Oh, there's loads of flood myths. They must be talking about a real world account. On some level, some kind of, I don't know, race memory or something? Well, maybe, maybe not. Interestingly, when you look at the myths, when you look at their dates, which have been fact-checked and found to be, oh, there's actually evidence of, you know, a great big flood, say, at the Black Sea at one point in ancient history, you find that these dates don't align to a global flood. Many floods over the world at different times, but not one singular great flood. Shut up to my little friend!